Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. The purpose here is to inspire your spirit and fill you up with hope. Today's video is another comments about your comments video. So as you may know, I do my best to review all of the comments on my channel. Yeah, even the kind of negative ones, but I just kind of go right by those. And I focus on the ones, the comments that add value and that are positive and I appreciate that. Thank you very much for taking the time to make comments. Now, I wanted to address one of the comments that I saw that I thought was a really good one, which was about asking me, someone had asked me, why don't I do afterlife channels with people who were murdered? Or why don't I help to solve murders or crimes? And I think that's a personal choice. I think when you do any kind of a work, work you uh, have a niche or you folk tend to focus, you know? And as a psychic and a medium, I don't do everything. I don't do all different types of psychic work. I do a lot. I have a lot of tools in my belt and a lot of different kinds of skills that I can utilize and bring to situations. But I'm just not, quite frankly, I'm not interested in that. I think that there's too much intensity around murders and people who are murderers and unless there's a really compelling reason, a bigger purpose for healing and for growth and for understanding that only I, in my unique way of channeling, can bring through, then maybe I would consider doing that. But some of those things, and especially the very public cases, are very sensationalized. And there's a lot about a lot of energy attached to the myths around it and the, the theories and the scenarios around it. And there's so many people that are really intrigued by the mystery of it. And energetically, that just doesn't feel good to me, like at all. I don't really think there's a huge benefit to doing that, unless maybe notoriety, I guess. Maybe you can get attention by doing that. I mean, I guess that would be... I just, but it's not my thing. It's not my jam. It's not my jam. It's like an, it's like a musician, um, uh, like an artist, uh, uh, someone who sings. Let's do that. Some a vocalist, an incredible vocalist. They don't sing all different genres. People kind of, they're either your country or your R and B or your rap or your, you know, I mean, your different genres. And I'm not into the murders and solving mysterious deaths or cases or anything. Have I done that before? I have, in private session, worked with families um, who have been in situations like that where a family member has been murdered. Um, but more often, I've worked with suicides and families, families who have dealt with the loss through suicide and or an unexpected death. So unexpected death kind of a thing. So yeah, don't expect me to uh, do yeah, to channel murderers or to channel um, victims, uh, people who've been murdered. It's not that I won't necessarily do that in the future. Like I said, if, if there's a compelling reason that is for the greater good that helps as a whole for healing, I would consider it, but I'm not interested in doing that really at this time. That's not the the purpose of Above Life Channel is to inspire your spirit and give you hope. And that is through interesting and really reflective conversations with the afterlife. And again, I've said this before and I'll say it again. My job here, I don't feel like my job is to change your mind about anything, to make you believe anything or to even change your values about anything. I mean, I'm not here to um, bust the skeptics, you know, and change people from not believing to believing in the afterlife. I just, I feel like you are quite qualified to manage your own life experience and you, you and your higher self, your spirit self and your healing team, you guys got a plan and you got a plan. And maybe I'll be part of that process to help open you up to different perspectives and different viewpoints on things or different experiences. And if that's so, if that's the case, great. And if not, that's fine. 
That's why there are tons of psychics and tons of mediums and tons of channelers that you can watch and connect to and have private session with because one size does not fit all. And I am not going to change who I am just to um, get clients or to get viewers or anything like that. I can't, I can't do that. That's not who I am at all. So I'm not, um, I want you to hear this, that I'm not putting anybody down, any other channelers or mediums or psychics. If they do that kind of a work, that's their choice. And they're probably really good at it. And they probably do a lot of good. And that's, I don't have a judgment about that either way. It's just not, it's not for me. It's not my wheelhouse. So I thought I would answer that because I've had multiple questions about that, <laughs> which I think is probably, you know, natural, right? All right, so this is Bridget at Above Life Channel responding to a comment that you have made, a reoccurring comment, about why I don't channel, it doesn't seem like I'm interested in channeling um, people who were murdered or people who are murderers or um, helping to solve murder cases. And so that's my explanation as to why. But as I said before, I do read your comments and I do appreciate them. Thank you so much for watching and for taking the time to comment. I do appreciate that. Remember the purpose here is to inspire your spirit and fill you with hope because this is your life. This is your life. This isn't my life. This is my life. This is your life. <laughs> so you go live your life. You live it. Thanks for watching.